of Sweden. You probably think a fish that looks amazing. I've never seen crawfish this big my entire life. Hi guys, I'm so happy today because I'm going to be checking out Swedish food, Swedish cuisine and um, if you are actually sent a lot of um, amazing video about Sweden meal for me via the mail and checking out that video I was like oh wow Sweden has a lot of incredible uh, food to try out so I saw this particular video and I was so curious to see um, in details what Sweden food looked like aside the video I've seen this is Kotenburg food nice Swedish food to try what to eat in Kotenburg and I'm so excited to be checking out this one in my previous video I told you guys I'm a food kind of person and I'm so 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 happy to be doing this one with you guys so if you're new here on the channel please make sure you like subscribe also feel free to click on the buy me coffee link that's one way you can support the channel and let's get right into today's reaction and welcome back to a wonder less for life today we are going to show you what to eat in gothenburg sweden basically it's going to be the best traditional swedish foods to try in west sweden ah! so let's get into it traditional food When you think of Sweden, you think of fika. Yeah. When you think of fika, you think of cinnamon rolls or cardamom rolls. But today we are all about the cinnamon roll, and this is the world's biggest cinnamon bun. And it is here at Cafe Husaren, and it is just absolutely massive. It's as big as my head, which Sean wanted <laughs> to show by me putting it in front of my face. Well, that's pretty, pretty crazy. Right? Fine. All right. This is how big it is. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so it is a traditional Swedish cinnamon roll, and it's covered in this, I forget what kind of sugar you call this, but it's a big chunky sugar. Yeah. So I'm going to give it a bite. Like a heavy granulated sugar. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm. So I think this is actually kind of a combination of a cinnamon bun with cardamom. It actually looks like it's going to be very um, crunchy and dried. But looking at this, it feels fluffy, moist. And you know, not so chunky. I love it. I want to have a taste. I'm in it. So you get a little bit of that cardamom without the full punch of it. And it's just so delicious. Now you can also sit inside, but it's very busy today. We just wanted to make sure that we get a cinnamon roll because I'm just obsessed with them. Actually, fun fact, at Ikea you can buy frozen Swedish cinnamon rolls and they're the best thing ever. And I've been eating them all week. Wow. <laughs> I also want to give a shout out to Eric and Allison of The Endless Adventure because we found out about this place from them. Unfortunately, they didn't get one that day, so I am so sorry, guys. So when you come back to Gothenburg, you got to get here early and get this. And if you call us, early. we'll meet you up here. <laughs> It's on the rush there. The most important thing to eat in Sweden, specifically West Sweden, are the big five, or the top five. And that's all seafood. You have lobster, crayfish, shrimp, mussels, and oysters. And we're starting off here in the building. Yes, yeah. I totally butchered it. So sorry, Swedes. Um, but we're actually in the restaurant Gabrielle, and we're having crayfish and mussels. And it's going to be amazing because we also have local Swedish wine. Oh wow, crayfish! Actually, over here, crayfish is something we eat, like a spice to the food. We actually don't eat crayfish like that. We only eat shrimp, corn, lobster, and likes of them. But crayfish, in particular, is something we put in the food, not like something we eat on its own. If that makes sense. So first, we're starting off with grilled crayfish. That looks amazing. Never seen crayfish this big my entire life. I wish I can show you a picture of what it actually looks like here. Just tiny. What? I'm sh <laughs> wow! This looks like a lobster. Literally, is this a crayfish? To be very honest, I think what we've been calling crayfish here is not actually crayfish. Maybe it's a baby crayfish. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm learning a lot of things. Because I'm not a big lobster fan, so this is absolutely perfect for somebody like me. Mm. Alright, now we're getting on some mussels. This is with white wine and garlic and a ton of parsley. It looks perfectly cooked. 
So when you eat one, I've never had this in entire life. I've never. And I want to. Slide back. the whole pot of muscle. <laughs> Did two of the top five things or the top five seafoods that you should definitely have here in West Sweden and that restaurant was phenomenal. Highly recommend it to anyone. The staff is awesome and um, the people were just so nice. There were two older ladies who sat next to us and they got the fried herring with mashed potatoes and lingonberries which we weren't really sure was super tr traditional but they said oh this is this is definitely traditional Swedish and um, here try some and we didn't but I was just like that is so nice like the people here already were already just blown away by so West too, Sweden yeah, so nice bring it on well shrimp is already in the big five the top five of the seafood that you should eat here um, the shrimp sandwich is actually an item of its own that you have to try we are here at heaven 23 and it's on top of this tower and this is considered widely the best shrimp sandwich in the city so it has rye bread mayonnaise and 200 grams of hand peeled shrimp and i think there's some caviar or something on top um it's massive so Sean and i are actually going to share this uh, but this is definitely a place to get a good view and a good meal and take one of the best things to eat in gothenburg off the list so you put some lemon on it. I'm trying a small bite. This is just the bread, a little bit of mayonnaise, the shrimp, the caviar, and I think uh, dill on top. Oh. Mm. All of it together, awesome. Mm. But try to get a lot of something in a bite. Like the shrimp itself is fine, but it's really like the whole sandwich, everything coming together and making a really good flavor profile. This is really good. As I mentioned, one of the things that you have to try when you're here in West Sweden are oysters. So we have that tonight and we're gonna give them a try and they gave us some really good sauces as well. Mm. I'm salivating! <laughs> not super um, seawatery, just really good and tender. And they have like this special sauce to put on top that has a couple fruits and vinegar and stuff inside. It makes all the difference. And they have little dill on top. So apparently they just love dill up here. And I have to say, I really love it too. So we're here at a food truck park and we are trying the hall special. And we got it all separate, but we pile it all on here. So this is a British um, sausage. He has a bunch of different flavors. He chose one for me. That's pork, and he said it works the best with all the toppings. And we're gonna put it all together and give it a shot. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is massive. A big bite. Ah, I also want to give a shout out to the Endless Adventure, and that's where we found out about this place. <laughs> all right. Mm. Mm. I'm celebrating. <laughs> That was really good. Like the crunch of the, um, the onions and the tartness and the sourness of the pickle and the creaminess of the mashed potato and the just wonderful flavor of the lingonberry makes this sausage just so delicious. I can't even, like who thinks to put all this together? It's just so good. <laughs> That's a big bite <laughs> on the side of the bite. Another must try food here in West Sweden is sushi. Right? Sushi? <laughs> it's fresh fish. So we're here at an omakase and basically we are going to sit down and the chef is going to make us whatever he feels like making tonight. So let's go get eating. Oh. For a moment, I felt like that looks raw. Was I raw bitch? You just raw meat. It 
melt in your mouth. It is so good. Mm. I eat this every day. I could. That omakase experience was amazing. The chef's name is Alvin. He's from here in Gothenburg, but his dad owned a sushi shop. So he went and learned all about it in the US because he was so interested in it. And that restaurant experience is definitely one to have. It feels exclusive, but it's not. The pairings with the wine was amazing, but I don't feel like you have to get them. The food was just extremely fresh, good, and his flavor profiles are perfect. So please, please, please do yourself a favor. If you're in Gothenburg and you can, take that dinner and have a good time. <laughs> Oh, try foods here in Gothenburg, Sweden, and really the west part of Sweden has just such a cool food culture and so many little foodie adventures to have. So if you enjoyed this video as much as we loved eating through it, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already because there's much more to come. And we will see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, wow. That's amazing. Oh. I think I did myself so wrong because I'm actually craving for something I can't have right now. It's so bad. But I have my capstone here to cool some craving down. Actually, the food at, um, looks so sumptuous, delicious. I want to have a bite. I want to have a taste of those things I just saw right now. And the fika, I feel like I've gotten so used to some of the Swedish food I've seen before, like the fika. And in the in the, um, in Gothenburg, it feels like um, the particular place you go that fika people always rush to get fika from the store. And I want to know the recipe to, of making fika. If I can try to do one or two things for myself here, I'll actually look that up to try it. <laughs> actually, yeah. Um, All together, I'm going to say um, Sweden has um, amazing food, and most of the food she she showed there was um, seafood, like the mussel, the oyster, the crayfish. And all my life, I've never seen crayfish as big as that. That's literally gigantic, to be very honest. And um, they have more of seafood and unique, unique taste, I guess. I honestly want to give the oyster because she spoke so highly of the oyster. I want to give that a good bite, a good try. But I really love to try Sweden cousin one day. If there's a store I can get any of these things or go sit in and eat, I will really try that. I, I love being adventurous when it comes to food. And you guys, I felt a little bit of eh when I saw the sushi. It actually looks like it's raw. Was that raw? It looks so fresh and like it's a raw beef or raw liver. <laughs> Something like that. But I'm so sorry if I offend you for feeling that way. But And help me down below if that was actually fresh or, you know, raw and um thank you so much for watching this video with me let me know what you think about this in the comment section please do not forget to like subscribe to my channel also feel free to use the buy me coffee link below that's where you can support me and i'll see you guys on my next one bye loves